Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Rahim. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Hasban Allahu wa Nimo Akil. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? And here though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cap ran it over and surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Johnny's by this Friday. Juma Mubarak to all our Muslim brothers and sisters. And as we uh, pray during this Ramadan, I always say pray for Ghana. The education minister is on record to have said that we are reaping the benefits of the government and Ananado Danko Kufuadu. He is not wrong in saying that because we are reaping the benefits indeed. Take me to Ghana's where since the introduction of the free SHS policy, the children in Ghana's have not had the opportunity. Eh? The, what, sorry if you're having breakfast, but this is, no, pause, the, pause. this is where the children ease themselves. And I'll show you what has become of their washrooms. This is where the children ease themselves. They go to the back and they ease themselves there. Pure humiliation. Their worldview of these children. The kind of intimidation that they are even put through. Show me, show me the, the where the boys sleep. Show me. Show me their dormitory. Show. These are obvious washrooms. Obvious washrooms. These are obvious washrooms. Obvious washroom. Ganas. And since the inception of the free SHS policy, not a single Peswa for ICT or library has been given out, but it's part of the bill that government gives us as citizens to pay. Show the video again. Show, show the, the, dormit, the, the, the washroom now converted into dormitory. Show them again. This is the benefit we are reaping. Children are now sleeping in toilets. They are sleeping in bathrooms. They, le they leave home. They go to secondary school. And, and what's painful is that the people, who, the people who are managing these things went to secondary school in this country, and they slept on bunk beds. They slept in dormitories. They slept in cubicles. They ate good food. As if that's not enough. The children go to school three and a half weeks. They are back home. One, one cohort goes in. Then they suddenly have to return home because there's not enough space. And then another court will have to be brought in. They don't have adequate furniture. When you talk, they say, what are you saying? We, we were running our own PTAs. You came, you collapsed the PTAs. Now the headmasters and headmistresses, because they can't use official channels, they come and then when they start, dear parents, now you must show. Because you pay. Dear parents, now you must show. And then you pay. Play the video of the, of the school, but I have to, I have to uh, block his face because we are so vindictive in this country, even when the boy was talking about the reality. Play that video for me. Start it. Okay, go As your ones, you have been just being the toilet to that. It's ourselves to free us, every kind of communication, people passing by, seeing us every day. And then uh, how... Is this affecting your health and your uh, academics? Our health, I can say more about it because you just go to the dining and just come back and just sit at the back and you'll be eating and the flies there. So coming in sometimes when the wind is too much, blows the papers and the scent is unbearable to control. Have you had some of your students falling sick? Oh, because of this. Me standing there for doing um a four sick just recent. That was a Friday. What, 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 which part of your body? What problem? What do you say is wrong with it? Time for the malaria. Yeah. Okay. So right now, if you want to make an appeal on behalf of your colleagues, what would you say to the big man here? Oh yeah. We just played on. I'll just play on. Uh, my colleagues behalf for you to build us 
maybe maybe one or two toilet forks. But I'm told that this used to be a toilet, so what happened? Yeah. It used to be a toilet but because there's not enough space and space as in like where to sleep and those things. So mm. They converted it. What's your name? I won't say his name on air. The children are sleeping in toilets. That's somebody's son. That's a future leader. Nanando has not only disappointed the, the past, though, because the old people's bonds that have matured, for the first time in the history of this country, old people who had saved their monies in bonds, which is supposed to be the most safest of investments and instruments, they had to pick it at the finance ministry to get their money, including a former chief justice of this country. Very respected individuals. Some need that for their medication and whatever it is. And somebody at NCC says, since you took the matter to Johnny Hughes, what has happened? You should even be ashamed of yourself that you were saying that. That you took people's money and gave it to a certain financial institution and they are not able to pay the people. You should be fighting for your people. You are not even ashamed. You say since you took the matter to Johnny Hughes. Shameless people. We have taken the bonds of the old people. The youth that we promised 11 million jobs and over because of e levy we have not given them the jobs. These 16, 17, 18 year olds who are also in secondary school, we are disappointed. So we have disappointed the past. We are disappointed the present. We are disappointed the future. One person is doing that. Children are now sleeping in toilets. Show me the, the so-called washrooms that have now become dormitories for the boys to be sleeping. Show, show, the, show, show it to the board. And then you come and tell me that we are reaping the benefit of this. This is the benefit. Would you let your children sleep in toilets? Would you let your children sleep in toilets? And this is happening in Ghana today. How low can we stoop? The children go to school. There's not enough furniture. The children go to school, there's not enough facility. The children go to school, the, the quality of the food is, is rubbish, is baller. What, so so what, what exactly are we doing for the children? That we have to even stoop so low to converting washrooms, washrooms, toilets, into sleeping places for these boys. Do you know the kind of mental torture? How that would even affect them for them to even realize that when we came to school, this used to be a toilet. Now we are sleeping in the toilet to go to school to go and learn. Now we have been so humiliated and reduced to the, the barest minimum, the lowest zero. We are defecating in the open. I didn't say, this is it, it's there, it's evident. You see their mattresses, you see their chore box, you see their trunk. They are sleeping in toilets. But we have money to spend on National Cathedral. Somebody's private promise to God that if you give me a, a chance to lead the country, I will build you a cathedral. You said it, Mr. Kufadu, that you were going to build a cathedral for God if he gives you a second chance. Then now we have succeeded in manipulating the thing and turning it around and saying that it's now a national cathedral. And we're even spending monies illegally to build that, the world's most expensive hole. We have money to be jetting around in private jets. We have money to be traveling. We have money to be employing unnecessary staff at the presidency. We have money enough. We have diaspora uh, relations. We have church manager. We have NAPCO coordinator. We have, we have all manner of unnecessary positions. And your children are sleeping in toilets. Don't, don't show my face. Show the dormitory. This morning when you take your bath to go to work, Municipal Education Director, MCE, Minister, whatever, you, you should be ashamed of yourself. You should bow down your head in shame that your children are sleeping in toilets. You should bow down your head in shame. And you should be so embarrassed. I'm deliberately showing that you should, you hear the boy. He said since they came, they have not had the benefit of a toilet. They go out in the open to ease themselves. With all the dangers that come along with it, whether there are snakes there, whether there are uh, uh, scorpions there, what, whatever is there. We don't care about the children. We don't care. We just don't care. We're doing everything haphazardly, half-heartedly. 
Children are now sleeping in toilets. That's wicked. That's cruel. Today, the Muslims are amongst them. They will go and, go, go and, and do the ablution and, and they go and pray. On Sunday, they will go to church and go and pray. They will give fat donations. The children in Ghana and all the other schools, they are calling on you. As if Coco Sakura for our children is not, is not enough. Now they are sleeping in toilets. Now the children are sleeping in toilets. Is this what we were promised? We were promised better because we were told that the previous government was incompetent. They were clueless. They were inept. They were whatever it is. This is their competence. People are sleeping in toilets. And you are just interested in statistics. You are spending money to buy passport. You are just interested in the statistics that we had so many people who wrote the SSE and so many people who passed. It's good if, you, if, if people pass and all of that. But the quality of the time that they spend in school. Children are spending more time at home than they are spending in school. When we, when we attended school, f from, uh, first term, three months, second term, three months, third term, three months. Today, the children go to school less than a month. And then they are back home. And then when they are returning, you have to buy everything all over again. Why can't we just be serious for once in this country? We can't feed the children. We can't give them proper furniture. We can't give them anything. And since we started this free SHS, I said ICT and library fees. The government has not remitted one peswa. One. And these are part of the bill that government gives to us. Now children are sleeping in toilets. Let it hit your conscience this morning. Good morning.